Okay, this is our first video about trust problems. And we're going to start with some basics. You should take notes in your notebook. Compression is when things are being pushed together, and tension is when we're pulling on things. We talked about these already when we did vectors. A truss is any design made from slender members that are joined together by welds or gusset plates. You're all familiar with gussets from our VEX. You can see right here in this part, that's a gusset right there. It's a gusset plate. A simple truss is composed of triangles. The bonus of triangles is this. If I start with this rectangular shape and push right here, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to push over like this. We call that racking. However, if I put in one cross member like this, even if I pushed here, this member is going to keep it from bending. It greatly improves the strength of this design without adding a lot of weight. We support this with two kind of supports. Pinned supports are recognized, are shown as triangles usually, and they can be on a vertical surface or a horizontal surface. And they provide reaction forces in both the horizontal and vertical direction. Roller supports only support in one direction. They're represented by a circle, and it could be on a horizontal surface or a vertical. If it's on a horizontal surface, it's just giving a vertical reaction force. And here it's just giving a horizontal. Our first calculation we're going to do is to determine static determinacy. You should copy down this formula. J stands for the number of joints, M stands for the number of members, and R is the number of reactions. So here, if we have this truss, we're going to determine if it's statically determinate by plugging these in and then seeing if it works. So the number of joints that are here, the joints are the corners, so one, two, three, four. There's four joints. The members are each of the lines. One, two, three, four, five. There's five members. And the reaction forces, remember that a pinned joint has two reactions here and two here. So there's four reaction forces. Eight does not equal nine, so this is not statically determinant. How about now? What's the difference? Well, they replace this one with a roller. So this just has one reaction force here. So the joints and the members didn't change, but the reaction forces is now three. One, and then one, two here. Eight does equal eight, so this is statically determinant. Here's an example of a bridge in New York. Same formula, count the number of joints. You can count the red dots. Count the number of moments and the reaction forces, and you'll see that this is determinant. Notice that it does, in fact, have rollers on one end and a pen joint on the other. That's it for the video.